Mr. Depp, uh, on December 18th, 2014, you sent this text to Ms. Hurd, um, and I'm going to read it. And it says, it's a way, I've let it go, went too far. We slash I tend to do that. I always regret it when I jump, or worse, when you jump. I don't want to be conditioned to continue that behavior. Therefore, I'll put in heavy work with shrank. I'm sorry for being less, for your disappointment in me, for my behavior. I'm a fucking savage. Gotta lose that. Gonna lose that. The devil is all around, right? I wish I were able to bring even just a glimmer of a smile to the pretty face of my most gorgeous of dreams and darkest nightmares. I love you far too much for you and I to be these heinous slinging insults like we do slash did. It is not anything that I am particularly proud of to have participated in, and I regret giving it life because, motherfucker, how when we fight, little girl, how do we end up on the very edge of the precipice? And why? Wish I knew. Goddamn. And know that you are right. I am well aware that I should have been bigger than the moment. And that it will never again manifest in negative experiences. It can be done. What a killer concept to visualize. Wish you were in this lunatic's proximity. Be careful out there. I adore you. Did I read that right? You did. You can take that down, Michelle. If you could please pull up Exhibit Your Honor, we have a redacted version of this, but we'll put up the fully unredacted um, right now. All right. Just give counsel a moment to review. Of course. Uh, Your Honor, this has phone numbers in it. So I, I know. Yeah, 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 I know. We just, we, understood. Just so you can see it first. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Mr. Depp, um, I, I'd like to, to, to turn your attention to the top three text messages on this page. These are text messages that you sent on January 17th, 2013. See that? I'm sorry, I'm just reading the uh, page. Right. And it, the way these text messages are produced, sometimes there's big date skips and they're, they're kind of jumbled in. So. They're not all on the same chain. No, so no, of course. what I'm what I'm asking you about is just the top three. Certainly. And those are texts that you wrote on January seventeenth, twenty thirteen, correct? Yes, sir. Your Honor, permission to publish just those top three texts with identifiers and the others redacted. And and, and move for admission of that redacted exhibit. Um, as long as it's not this version, that's fine. The version we'll, we'll, that put it, we'll put up on the screen what I propose to uh, admit as well, an exhibit. Well, let me see what you're going to put up on the screen okay. first. We have no objection to this version, Your Honor. Michelle, can you blow up the text boxes, please? 
On January 17, 2013, Mr. Depp, you texted the following. For the idiot cow, three exclamation points. Next text, will do. I'll smack the ugly cunt around before I let her in. Don't worry. And apologies again to the court and the jury for this language. And then you close by saying, did that worthless hooker arrive? Did I read that right? You did, sir. You can take that down, please. We talked a little bit about the term monster yesterday, correct? Yes, I've heard that word quite a lot. Yes. Yeah, and you, you testified yesterday that you used that term to placate Amber, right? And you, I believe that you testified you, that it was the word that she clung to to describe what was in her mind, not yours. I, I wrote down what you said. Do you remember giving that testimony? Uh, the monster, more than anything, was uh, Ms. Hurd's way of referencing um, whether I was whether she perceived that I was on substances or taking substances. So the word monster became, it represented for her uh, the consumption of, of uh, alcohol or any other substances, um, whether it was actually happening or not, her perception. And so monster became her click word, right. if you will. But, but actually, the term monster to describe yourself came from you. Well, initially, Ms. Hurd, uh, I believe she started out with demons. Uh, she started out with, uh, call, uh, saying that I had demons. And then when monster was put into uh, a conversation, which, again, uh, my, my, I have a... Uh, particular way of using uh, words, vocabulary uh, in, my, uh, in, in my vernacular. So m monster uh, was something that if, if, which she s stuck with tried and true, I mean, she just stayed with that. Right, um, but you but, have but to you, accept it, came it from you. The unless term came you from wanted you. to argue. The term came from you, didn't it? Uh, it's very probable. It's prob possible. It's probable that I that I might have used that that, that word certainly. Right, and, and and in 2012, in fact, um, Elton John was one of your friends who was trying to help you get sober. Correct. Yes, sir. And you 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 sent him a message in 2012, where you thanked him for his help, and you said, "quote I would have been swallowed up by the monster were it not for you." That is a simple fact. Isn't yes. that true? Yes. Again, the monster referring to alcohol and, and substances. Correct. And, and you didn't send that message to Miss Heard. You sent that to Elton John. I would have been swallowed up by the monster were it not for you. Um, Correct? Elton. Elton uh, Can you pull up these? Other, was, wait, wait, wait. was a dear friend who... Um, has been uh, s s sober for I don't, 40 years, 30 years. So he was, um, we've had discussions and he wanted to me to get uh, clean, sober. Um, so he actually, Elton actually sent uh, a, a, a fellow called Charlie Dunnett, who who worked with Elton for years and years, and Mr. Depp, I, I appreciate that. My only question was just to confirm that you had sent that message to Elton John. Nothing else. Thank you. So I'll me. just okay. I'll yeah. just stop talking. Um, thank you. I, I appreciate it. I want to be respectful of the court's problem, time and the, and the jury's time. Um, Sorry. I just said I want to be respectful of the court's time and the jury's time, and I, I trust that you do too. So. Um, well, I don't feel you, like I'm wasting anyone's time, sir. Could you pull up Exhibit 408, please?